taste it. Let me taste it for you. Hello everyone and um, welcome back to Lifestyle with Kids Versatile. So um, I've been away for over a week and I am back to base actually. I went to the village so we call hometown of one of my friends I told you in my previous video that I would be going away and it was indeed an awesome time an awesome seven days of fun all through although we went for a funeral and um, the funeral was done successfully thankfully so I'm going to be giving you a breakdown of every of the activities we did um, over there at the village so every day's activity I'll be sharing with you on this um, on this video and then in another video I'm just going to make um, show you some of the cultural dances that we experienced so share it with you likewise who's ready to get updated on how my one week went okay so but you know what to do make sure you watch this video to the very end subscribe to this channel like this video comment and let me know what was like the high point for you okay and I'll be seeing you ciao and yes currently I am at an Amala sport I haven't had like another kind of meal. I just had Igbo, Igbo, Igbo meals throughout this. So I feel really hungry for Amala. So I'm here to have Amala. So I'll be gisting you alongside the Amala munching. All right, come on. I'm not just going to do a full tour of this Amala sport. I'm just going to show you where the service. So that behind me is the service point. Now I am a local girl, okay, living the city life, but I cannot forget my local roots whatsoever. Okay, so it just feels so good being close to. Culture, close to nature, and all that. I was born and raised in um, Lagos State, so the Amala lifestyle is like inbuilt, like it's inside of me. So I can't really like let go of it. First, let me order for my Amala. Amala. But I want that uh, one plate like this one. Yep. No Amala yet. No. You want to? Another one. How long will I eat? <laughs> okay, so Amala is not ready yet, so I have to wait for like 10 15 minutes for it to be prepared. But the soup is ready, so let me just gist you. I had to leave for my friend's place um, as we had to fly um, the next day, being Tuesday. So on Monday, I had to go over to my friend Cassie. And um, when we got there, you know, I just spent time with the family, but I knew I got there like late night. Then on Tuesday, our flight was supposed to be for three. But um, the airline we were to take, we're trying to play a quick one with us, but we beat them. We really beat them by getting early to the um, airport. Now it was very, very surreal for me. Like if you, if I, if I can share, if I share the videos to, for you to see from the videos, you see that I was very, very excited to be doing this because it's been over ten years. I actually flew, you know. So it was really surreal for me that this is happening. So while at the airport, I met with um, a celebrity. He's known as Tokama Guru, so I'm just gonna leave a clip of the video where he says hi. Hey, see who I found here. Hello, people. My name is Moka. We have my beautiful sister. They've announced our to come to the glory. I'm seeing you guys on the other side. Yes, yeah. Let's wait, though. Yeah, it is, yeah, but. Wow. Alright, so I thought to show you who I got here with me. He's a big celeb. Huge celeb. celeb. He's almost, he almost casted me. Guys, check out his page on Instagram. Yeah, at Tokama That's how they make people end up in What is his name? I will drop the link to his Instagram on um, the description below so you get to know about him. He's a movie maker, uh, one of the very popular movies in Nigeria, Yoruba Demons. He directed it. <laughs> this is a big man. As I'm going to collect autograph. I'll, I'll, I'll thank God I'm wearing a sleeveless. He'll sign it here. <laughs> All right, thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Yeah, ciao. He's actually a producer, director, um, a filmmaker, scriptwriter, you know, and a trainer. He trains actors. So he, we actually sat and chatted a lot, did um, a lot of chats on politics, movies, and the rest. And we share one thing in common. He also has very long dreads, just like I do, but mine is learning where he is. So yeah, um, we talked about hair, we talked about, um, we talked about hair, we talked about politics, we talked about movies and the politics involved in movie making and all of that and then we of course exchanged um, contact 
So yeah, and the good thing about it was that we flew together on the same aircraft. He was seated behind me, my friend was on the other side. So I was very excited and, and super happy on that journey. Then we arrived at the airport at about past five and we had our friend's husband come because of the airport. And we actually arrived at um, Asaba Airport. So from Asaba, we had to go to another um, a distance, about two hours, 30 minutes distance to Anambra State. Um, we actually got in very late at night and I just, like, I was tired, I was fagged out, so we had to sleep. Then on Wednesday, I went to the Relief Market. So that's like day two. So I went to Relief Market in Onisha. And yeah, you can see some pictures of, you know, my time at the Relief Market. I just did some short, uh, very short clips just to show that I was there. Hi, so I'm here in Onisha. We came actually about 45 minutes drive away from the village. And right now I'm at the Relief Market in Onisha. As you can see, this is like a, this is just the entrance gate. Take a look. That's the entrance. And all the way in, and there are different entrances. This is like a stock up market where people can buy stuff. So we're here to buy drinks at this drink shop. Just that to update you what's happening and how much fun I'm having. So see you on the next tour. Ciao. So we went to buy drinks for the event. Now I know you might ask, what took me there? What did I go for? Well, I actually went for a funeral, um, a funeral rites completion of my friend's mother. She passed away last year, and she she was being laid to rest. And all of the Igbo traditional rites, but which is also done the Christian way, we had to do that. Okay, so um, yeah, we had to do her rights um, to bury her. So a service of songs was already done in Lagos. Now they had to come to the village where she will be laid to rest. Okay, so we had a lot of activities to do. She actually has about 13 children that she took care of, and my friend happens to be one of those children. And I was, I'm actually very happy to have been part of the whole event. Now, of everything that happened while I was there, I enjoyed the reception I was given and how all of her family members really like accepted me. I was very, very much welcome in their home. Yo, take a look me sit. Come let us <laughs> Take a good look. Tasty. Let me taste it for you. Hi. Um. So I have actually just finished eating and I am so sorry I didn't show you when I was eating. I actually had two wraps of amala with a widu and bean soup, okay? That's the bean soup is actually the protein there alongside with the meat. I just had one meat because I'm really not a meat fan. Besides, I've had a lot of meat over the week, you know, a lot of meat, eating, chicken and all of that. So that's that for the protein. And of course I had a cup of color to go with my food to step it down. Yeah, so I was just thinking about how my week went. So yeah, on Thursday, I went, okay, I, I actually did, we had an activity in honor of the deceased, the person we were burying, right? Um, the, the event was like a charity event organized by the children in honor of the deceased. Um, and it was focused on diabetics and the aged. And also they had um, an outreach for eye, you know, so they had the um, opticians around and they gave out eyeglasses to anyone who had issues with the eyes and it was found out. Then there were also um, counselors who had to pray with um, the participants who came around and then we had doctors on ground who were ready to meet up, uh, meet the participants as well, give them medical advice and to cap it up there were there was also food to go with so I'm just going to show you the video here about everything you know the various steps they also had to check the BPs and all that. Hi everyone how are you so I'm checking in um, today being Thursday we have done a lot of activities as you can see my eyes are really tired but right now, I am at the town hall where we are doing a medical outreach. Um, the family of the Agunchas in collaboration with the church, we're doing a medical Christian outreach. Over here, we get to check the BP. And then here, we have the counselors who also get to pray with the aged. 
and then here are some of the participants the people who have already come around we're also doing eye check inside so we have doctors and we have volunteers who are inside I'll be taking you in on tour of that okay so yours truly is here and I've done my task as paparazzi <laughs> and um, now I'll be heading back home to go uh, prepare for the service of songs everything is being set up and um, the mood is gradually changing but we're grateful and happy to be doing this so see you and then towards the evening of Thursday we had the service of songs so I'm just gonna drop pictures of the service of songs somewhere here Then um, on Friday was the funeral proper and condolence visits. So on Friday, the family, the, the cops was already in the in the compound. I think around nine, the cops was already present. And then um, the church, the church actually were the ones who managed the whole uh, processions and all of that. The Anglican Church. So they started the service, and then uh, there was procession to go see the harps and all of that. So I, you wouldn't really see me in much of the pictures because I was the one behind the camera doing a lot of the picture taking and all that. Sorry, I got a sip of Coke. Yeah. So we laid the co um, the coffin to the ground and that step was taken care of, was done. There was some crying going on about, you know, everyone feeling very sober. But in all, we give thanks to God. Then afterwards, the condolence visits began. Now we had people from different villages who knew about the deceased when she was alive and her time on earth. You know, so they came around from different villages, different hometowns, different cultures. As a matter of fact, her children were married to other states and other um, locations, not even within the village where they were. <laughs> We had the children um, and their in-laws come. Now that's the beauty of the culture um, in Nigeria and the Igbo culture in general. You just have the beauty of culture in dance, in food, you know, and our general way of life, clothing and all of that. So you're going to see that in the following videos. And remember I told you that in my next video, I'll be sharing with you some of the dances. I really enjoyed some dance from the River State and then another kind of dance from um, there in Anambra State. And in case I didn't mention it in the line, because I don't think I did mention it, the name of the village is Obuno Village in Ibuku which is in Agwata local government area of Anambra State, Nigeria. Yeah, so that is the village I went to. I'm also going to show you some of the um, pictures and videos of the house. It was a large house, like, it was a mansion. The father of the, the father of my friend, he's late now, was more like a chief or king. So he, the house was so large, so massive. And 
honestly, it's not something I can tell you by myself. You just have to see it for yourself. And I did enjoy myself. I enjoyed my stay. I also did some local stuff. Apart from the chairs I had to do, I slaughtered the chicken and dressed it. <laughs> Yes, I did and I was glad I did too because it's been a long time I did that so that is the fun time I had and yes um, on, on Saturday the condolence continued then on Sunday we went to church for the Thanksgiving then on Monday we had to leave and then moved to um, the airport so from Anambra State we had to go all the way to Asaba again to meet up with our flight our flight was delayed anyways and then um, when the flight eventually um, had to take off it was a it was a, a bumpy ride quite tiring but i think it was mostly because we were already tired out you know from the lot of activities we had to do and guess what on that um, trip i actually met another celebrity yeah you can say that again i'm a celebrity magnet so i i saw another celebrity her name is the real warrior king and i caught up with her and i also had a picture with her so you can check it out <laughs> Last duty before I go. <laughs> before I go back to Abuja now. Better. Let me leave the village. <laughs> where are you? <laughs> Last I'm duty. not ready to go to anywhere. It's really bad, Abuja. Ah, <laughs> before I go back to Abuja. Better. It's been a wonderful experience. Okay, well. Thank God that Thank it's been a successful too. one. Thank you for having me. Above all, I enjoyed my stay at my friend and spending time with my friend. Came back to Abuja. Of course, I had to do some quarantining, so I had to quarantine myself. I did a steaming as well. And, um, you know, I came back home just yesterday and had to give myself a treat. So this is like the wrap up of how my one week went and I'm grateful to God for it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Um, like this video already comment below let me know which of the high points you enjoyed in this video okay so for now you know what it is it is love and light namaste see you in my next video ciao